Hi, I'm John Newton, aka Snap-on John 100, and I'm in my backyard. I want to uh, start a fire to make some charred cloth, and so um, I thought I would. I also want to check out, test out this Bark River one, Bravo 1.5 knife, and so I thought what I'd do is make a bow drill set demonstrate my deluxe bearing block. We have them in stock now at the website, so um, I just thought I would show you how easy it is to use. This thing was designed for um, to be light, easy to carry in your pocket, so you could carry it all the time. Um, I carry mine like a good luck charm in my pocket so that um, I'm never without it. Um, it's also good for the beginner that's having trouble getting a coal because the hardest part to, to overcome is the friction you get up in your handhold. So this takes that away so you can focus on your form. And then once you've got that down, then you can use other forms of things for a bearing block until finally you start using wood. And um, I still practice with wood, but I always keep this with me at all times because if I ever have to start one in an emergency, I don't want to be scrounging around for a bearing block. I want to have one that I know I can rely on. So that's why that was designed. Stay with me. I've got a piece, so several pieces of basswood that whenever I'm out and I collect some, sometimes I'll bring an extra piece or two home if I can. So I've got different pieces here and some smaller ones. Okay, so I'm just gonna try, start by trying to split this down. You never know how how uh, it's going to split, or at least I haven't figured that out yet totally. I try to get, this has got a knot right here, I try to cut it so it's in between knots. Apparently I didn't do that on this one though. got a knot right there so I don't try to pound through a knot got that knot in it. I've split on both sides of it. There. This just seems like it's still a little green. Nice, really comfortable. Yeah, 
it has a convex single bevel that it doesn't it doesn't go all the way up uh, so it's not a full full convex grind it's more like a saber convex grind so up towards the spine it's the full thickness of the blade for added strength Okay, that looks like that'll work out for a hearth board. Now let me see if I can find a spindle. so it's not splitting well at all. I like that one. I might just use this one and just carve it down. Sorry about that. I had to switch batteries. The battery died. I'm just going to saw this knot off. Right by my saw. Cameo appearance by Chompers. I'm just going to saw this end off because it's longer than I need anyway. Comfortable. This hand is really comfortable.
This has got a ever so slight bow in it, so I'm making the pointed end a little bit offset so it still spins true or as close to as I can get it to. You want to have it on the center of the axis of rotation if you can get it like that. Good. Now this side will cut off the bowed part. Okay, now it's ready to burn in. Okay, these pieces are ready to burn in. I'll do that next, and I'll have a bird's nest also. I'm going to be making a bird's nest, so I've got some um, poplar underbark and some basswood underbark. I'm just separating it from the, the outside of the bark. And just some here. Just like this. So I'm just going to be pulling on this and separating the fibers until I get it all fluffed up. So I'll spare you the details of that. But basically, I'm just trying to make sure I get the outer bark away. That's hard, crusty stuff. Get that away from the rest. Okay. Okay, just gonna get this started. Gonna be using I'm gonna be using my deluxe bearing block is friction. The friction at the top, my bearing block takes that away, so you can focus on your form. You can use wood that's a little more marginal. I made it small enough you could have it keep in your pocket as a good luck charm, so you're even in the woods you might you will have it with you. Okay, seating that.
just using the saw to start this cut. knife I'm using for this is the the knife I'm using for this is the Bark River Bravo 1.5 A2 steel and it is um, about 5 millimeter thick with camouflage uh, G10 uh, scales So I'm, right now I'm creating the chamfer in the front edge of the board. That allows for a bigger coal and more oxygen to get in. And I'm making sure that I always cut away from my hand so I keep flipping it around. That's also why I start in the center of the board. So there's the chamfer right there in the front. See if I can get this closer. There you go. That looks good. Okay. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't be using a knife this big, but one of the tasks I use when I'm checking out a knife is I make a bow drill set with it. Because that's something that you need to be able to make if you have to make fire in an emergency. Okay, there's the notch. Once again, Bark River Bravo 1.5. It's got a six inch blade. Otherwise the specs are the same as a Bravo 1. I made my bird's nest out of um, some of this basswood underbark and poplar underbark. I left some of it um, rough so they've got a backing. That's going to be my flamble when I turn it over on itself. And then I've got some um, milkweed pod fluff and some cedar bark and a little bit of um, birch bark in there too. As well as finely fluffed up underbark. Far enough away so you can see. Okay. Once again, a deluxe bearing block. You can get these on my website, they're in stock now. Just go to www wildernessselfreliance.com and I thank you for the business ahead of time right. this is kind of a dip so I'll find a flat spot okay
just that easy. I'll set the camera up. Okay. A lot of moisture in this, you can sell by the smoke. Here we go. There we got it. All right. Per Rich, a spirit of wild wings. I went to Dollar General and bought these um, cookies that come in this tin, threw the cookies out, and then I also bought uh, cotton rounds or 100% cotton rounds and um, fit them right in here, punched a couple of holes in the bottom, and now I'm going to put it in the coals. Starting to smoke now. Starting to smoke. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, you can see the smoke coming out of the end of the can. When it stops smoking, I'll um, move it around in the coals, see if it uh, needs a little more, and then if it doesn't smoke anymore, I'll take it off. Well, what I wanted to do is I basically just wanted to start a fire, which I did. The charred cloth is not cooled off yet enough for me to look at it, but since I needed to start a fire anyway, I thought... I'd just make a new set, check out, test out my Bravo 5.1. That's a beauty, too. Handles real comfortable. performed really nicely. I'll have to try to make some feather sticks and stuff. But that's one of the things I wanted to get done. I wanted to 
and lastly I just wanted to demonstrate the ease of getting a coal with my deluxe bearing block. Once again you can get these at www.wildernessselfreliance.com and um, I thank you for your support. It uh, really helps me out a lot when you buy things from my store and um, also make sure you give a thumbs up on this video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and until we meet again God bless.